what's going on youtube welcome to a brand new video today guys i'm bringing you the news on the no the new the new 9.1 update guys it's crazy for guns of boom it's um it's a big change if you ask me because you know they did just added something that's kind of a game changer in a way and it's it's i mean it could be good it could be bad it depends it just came out pretty much and we're just getting used to it we'll see what it brings but for now guys i'm bringing you the updates what's new what's what they changed and everything in between so without further ado let's get right into the video that's a big change uh in my opinion so kevlar armor that's the regular armor nothing big about this it's just the same thing that we're used to but what the big change is with the following one two and three armors out here each and every one of these has a different perk as you see i have the shell armor i maxed it out um it's probably cost around like almost 400,000 uh gun bucks i believe but this shell armor is the first one we talk about it's blast protection now blast protection what does that mean as you can see it says reducing incoming blast damage while you have armor so that's important right there that last part while you have armor so they had a hot fix just a while ago where it implement it now only when you have armor before it was like when uh, even if you didn't have any armor on like when the enemy shot down your armor you would still have this perk but now it's only when you have armor so that's a pretty big change significant change that they made is um only allow it when you have armor for these perks and as you can see blast protection protects you from cryo grenades uh grenade launchers the bastion grenade launchers flashbangs it's only the damage obviously if you still get flashbang you still get flashed um if you get cryo you'll still be significantly slowed down so it doesn't protect from that just from the damage itself but guys this is probably um one of my favorite ones because i always get hit with rockets consumables so this kind of helps me um, stay alive just a little bit more sometimes and get the edge over those enemies using consumables so yeah shell armor if it helps me i know it's gonna help you guys so next armor up is infinite infinite now this has a pretty significant meaning in some other um cultures i know that's significant meaning but it means something it's a creature um look it up guys on google it's pretty cool anyways what does this protect you against fire fire protection what does this mean man fire protection what my yeah yeah so incinerator rest in peace prometheus rest in peace now i'm just kidding anyways it's basically gonna drop those weapons um damaged by 30 percent yes 30 <laughs> percent so incinerator whatever damage it did um with dark stalker or with um eye level five headshot damage um it's gonna drop by 30 percent the body damage is gonna drop by 30 percent so incinerator prometheus porcupine those guns that do um fire damage over time are gonna be significantly um affected by this armor and it's just those weapons that do fire damage there's also the sting and those other guns you know oh not is it the sting yeah i was thinking it's a sting and um yeah i mean that's the biggest thing about these armors man so they're affecting not just one gun they're affecting multiple weapons so that's something to think about um, if you're going for these armors which weapons you face against most and which one which armor is going to help you the most with those to fight or play against those type of weapons now the third and last armor change that they did big change man this one hurts my heart this one hurts my soul guys it protects you against freeze freeze protection reduces incoming freeze damage which means you're odin rest in peace okay okay <clears throat> get it together your iceberg rest in peace you're not um, there okay not rest in peace but you guys get the point 30 percent protection from those weapons so you know that headshot damage from the odin the king of all shot rifles is gonna significantly drop pretty sad um your icebergs are gonna your jack frost it's all gonna but like i said only if your enemy is using this zero armor if they're using any of these other armors just gonna do the same thing but if you face against someone with the zero armor and you should end them with the odin and they have it maxed out it's gonna drop it by 30 percent damage when they have their armor obviously if they don't have any armor they're low health easy easy, easy. but like i said man this one hurts um as you know i love the odin so if I see you out there with this, dude, expect some G-Launchers your way. <laughs> 
Alright, so these armors, how do you get them? So, starting off with the shell, you can get it with gun bugs. This is the only one out of all the three armors you can actually get with gun bugs. I mean, it's kind of expensive if you ask me. It's a lot of gun bugs. It's not very cheap. So, that's the only one you can get with gun bugs. The other two, however, you can get with gold. If you dare, don't oh, don't even ask me how much gold because it's, it's, it's crazy. I'm not. But the other way, which I'm sure is the way they are um, hoping players are going to get it, is through the league cases, which is basically at the end of the season for your rankings. You get that little case at the end. You guys know what I'm talking about. And what's it called? You have a chance to get pieces of either armor from there, from the zero or you free. So that's your those are your chances to get those armors unless you want to spend the gold for those other two and then obviously the shell is only gun all right that's enough about the armors that was the biggest change guys that was like the most significant change in my opinion for guns of boom and these other changes are kind of just cosmetics and little other stuff that they fixed or improved on so the, one of the main things that i saw was this right here let's click on this the quest menu man so it looks a little cleaner it looks better they added a couple more uh i think they just put it all together with um your free crates your uh quest that you usually have and they added a little progress bar so you get a little bit of extra stuff for completing these quests and you know pretty cool i wish they would have added a little bit more gold at the end because five gold doesn't get you anything so i don't know i hope they um add a little bit more gold to the end of when you complete all these quests because it's a lot of quests man like i said i hope they um implement a little bit more gold for these quests so you know like you guys can start grinding some gold actually um doing these quests for that gold and help you guys get some better weapons and other stuff in game so this looks pretty cool it looks clean like i said um i like it it's it's dope so that's clean that's 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 something else that they just added all right so another thing they added was this thing for clans guys so as you can tell you see these numbers right next to the main trophies of your clan so these contributions to clan ratings but what this means is that it counts the amount of trophies you are bringing into your clan ratings so i has contributed a thousand dude shout outs to you for that um obviously we have some players not really playing anymore so we'll look into that <laughs> but like i said um they basically added this number so you guys as clan leaders or clan mates can see who's being really active as far as you know contributing um trophies to your clan so then you can kind of you know it kind of helps manage a little bit sometimes you see players that are not active um, take them out bring in more players that are active or whatever it is you um, want to do as far as that but it's a little good information to have something small um, but yeah that's something else that they added to this 9.1 update all right guys and one of the last things is the costumes that they added which is basically the old armors that you used to get so if you remember like your level armors when you started you know you get these ones you get this next one and it just goes up from there and then you get you know these these ones were just armors um that you would get the cosmetics of it so now that they took it out they basically added these new ones um or they basically added it to the costume um that you can wear so you can actually choose from some of the ones back then which i chose this one because i think it looks pretty cool it looks like some swat team member or something it looks cool i like it especially matching with all that blue you already know so yeah that's something else that they did and then they just um updated the cosmetics on the actual um helmet so dark stalker i actually these like look pretty cool i hope you know i wish they can add actually these so we can use them in game because some of these look pretty dope dude like fumigator looks cool um this hard hat dude that one looks pretty scary if you ask me so I hope they can add that so we can um use it as a costume because that'll be pretty cool same thing they did with the legs the cheetah the mustangs all that stuff um you already know so that's another little cosmetic change for 9.1 up the invincible and yeah guys that's it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one later